this is Jay Garcia with TDG Innovations here to talk about EXEJS and some high-level object-oriented JavaScript. Today's topic of discussion will be the EXE.extend class, and uh, this is the second uh, in our series of podcasts that will deal with EXT and a bunch of neat stuff. So uh, if you've seen the first podcast, it was uh, really choppy. And uh, we've changed a couple of things. We've added a nifty intro. We've also included some videos. So hello, guys, to those of you who have never met me. And uh, hopefully I've gotten a little better with our uh, Wacom tablet. So let's go ahead and just jump right into it. Okay, let's say we have a class that we want to extend. This guy is called Class A. And uh, this bubble represents the constructor. Now, he has one property and two methods. Our goal is to extend class A, adding more code to the subclasses constructor as well as to the M2 property, or excuse me, method. Let's redraw that guy. Now with EXT, that's really simple to do. You simply instantiate your class, your class is B's constructor, and you add the code specific to class B. When you're ready to utilize B's superclass or parent class's constructor, you simply type in the line B dot superclass dot constructor dot call this. And essentially what that's doing is that's saying utilizes utilize B's parent class's constructor within the scope of class B. And if you'd like, you can add some more logic to the constructor and close out the declaration. Now, when you extend a class, you are essentially copying over all of the prototype objects. But for our demonstration, we want to add more code to M2, but we want to preserve P, the property of P, and the method of M1. So, just like when we add code to the constructor, we're just going to label this M2 over here, we will state that we have M2 that we want to add class B dot M2 specific code, but when, and when we're ready to utilize B's superclass dot M2 method, we simply write B dot superclass dot m2 dot call and then with the scope of this or the subclass and what that allows us to do is utilize all of m2's code and essentially add more on top of it extending m2 so when you look at m2 let's say in firebug you'll see a b uh, excuse me you'll see the uh, constructor the first property, second pro second uh, first method, and the second method. Um, but this guy will be more robust because he has more code. Now if we were to look at this through code, we would see that var a is a reference to a function which is a constructor, and it also has some imaginary constructor code. Uh, for ease of use, we're not going to actually have actual code in there, just a simple comment. And uh, the class A prototype has one property and two methods. Now, again, we wanted to extend class A and add uh, more stuff to the constructor for the subclass as well as extend the M2 method. So if we represent this in a code format, we see that when we instantiate or declare variable reference B to a new constructor, you can add code to the constructor to be specific to this class. You can also at any point call the superclass for B, which is class A. You can call the constructor with the reference scope of this or class B. Now you can also elect to add more logic at the end if you want. Um, that's something that, that you'll see a lot. And down here we actually overwrote the P property. 
So whereas P was actually equal to something, let's erase this, P is actually equal to the string of something in class A, when we override, excuse me, when we extend class B, we are actually electing to overwrite the uh, P property. So that's something that extend will give you as well. But we also want to add more functionality to the M2 function or method. So here we simply show that we have some B-specific logic and at any one point in time we say now we are ready to use the uh, superclasses M2 method and we want to execute it with the scope of this or class B. And at the bottom we have some more B specific logic for the M2 method. So this is a small, very lightweight representation on how you can take a simple class. Again, we'll go to class A. Um, and, and you can add more code to the constructor and to methods and overwrite properties if you'd like to do that. Now, if you wanted to elect to overwrite, let's say, M2 entirely, you have the option to do that relatively easily. And all you have to do is just elect not to add this line of code. Once you remove this, essentially what that's doing is that's actually overwriting the M2 method for class B when it extends class A. So um, I'm hoping that this helps explain things a little bit further. Uh, what we can do in the near future is actually go through Firebug and create a class and actually show how this works uh, using it through runtime.